hello good day this is the detailed tour of my BMW 5 series which I have up for sale I've had it for about 11 years actually over 11 years I've had it and I bought it from BMW um, approved used and in that time it's gone back to BMW for its services and maintenance uh, or most of them or an independent supplier um, but the service history has um, BMW as you will see and I'll walk you through it um, it's been ultra reliable no issues no breakdowns it's never not started it's been fantastic mechanically and electrically it's been sound and I'll demonstrate one or two things um, but first let me walk you through it so this is the the first wheel so as you can see um, it's got this chrome trim or aluminium trim over here which is also an extra you know you don't see a lot of cars with them but I think it looks fantastic on our dark colored cars and it's also got the rear tinted windows as well and um, just quickly come here show you there's nothing to report here it's in good condition and this here is the front passenger, sorry, front driver side wheel. And as you can see from here, it's got um, new brake disc and pads. And um, there you go. So that's the side. That's the aerial view, so you can see the top. And also the front. So what I will do is um, I will, let me zoom out a fair bit, there you go. So what I will do is um, I'll turn the engine on and turn on all the LEDs and daytime running lights so you can see that it works well. And um, this here, there you go. So um, if I just really take you through this side. So as you can see, there is a small scrape here, which I need to call out, but I don't even notice it to be honest with you. It's been there for a few years. And um, like I said, it's 11 year old, you know, you would expect to have some, you know, some, you know, some um, war scars potentially, but it's, it's been well looked after as you can see. And I think there's a little something here to call out. Um, aside that, it's been in very good condition. No issues, no letdowns, ultra reliable. All the lights, all the electrics, everything works like it should. Um, so if you look in the boot, you can see how clean and big it is. Then you also got some space here, and there's also um, some space there as well to keep things. So look at that, it's nice. And it has the the fold down. So what that means is that you can actually fold down this side and that side over there. So just take that out. And from there to there is about 2.4 meters. It's a lot of space. So for things like golf clubs and um, things like golf clubs and um, DIY, you know, so you got a lot of space there. Um, so let's look at the inside and I can take you through some of its um, features and all the extras or the ones I can remember. So this is the leather. So you can see the condition of the leather. There you go. And um, here as well. All the seat belts work perfectly as you would expect. It's just been through an MOT. And um, you can see there, everything looks nice back here. It might just need a little bit of, actually it looks clean. It might just need to give it a bit of detailed washing. And also you got that door card over there. The windows work perfectly as well. Then um, come to the front here. So here you got the comfort seats with lumbar support and it's fully electric. 
so you've got all this controlling the rear the you know so it's got that as well that extension it's got that extension you know this controls the headrest so it's and that controls the lumbar support that moves it forward back down it's it's fully electric and every single thing works and more in, and it also got the the memory seat function as well so what that means is that you can it remembers your last settings and it's got two keys um, so if my wife opens it with her key it will reset everything back to how she left it the last time her radio station the temperature the seat headrest the steering wheel everything moves to how this key or my wife you know last left it then when i go in and i press it it resets everything back as well so that's a very good feature the memory function also it's got the professional sat nav over there which you can see and i will fire it up now so you can see it's got the the wood trim you can see it looks very nice you know and um got that as well over there you can see that and this as well this also extends out as well and uh, all those buttons i showed you earlier the same buttons are here as well so that's the that that might need a bit of polishing out yeah and um so all this is in good clean condition with no issues at all it also has self-parking so this car actually that p button there that's what it does the car would park itself it will pile or park itself, move the steering wheel, you don't have to touch it and you'll do it. And it still works perfectly in all the sensors. And um, what else do I need to call out? And, um, and this is also the Dakota leather. So it's not just your normal leather, it's the beige Dakota leather. Um, I don't smoke, don't have any pets as you can see. And um, it's coming from a COVID free home as well. The other thing which you need to know is that um, all the lights on the inside, so that, that, I think there's about pff, maybe 12 or so of them um, under the doors, all the lights are LED and they're very, very nice, very, very bright. You know, once you go in and you sit in it, you will not, you, it's so bright, you know, you, it's not one of those dark lights, you know, it's one of the benefits of um, having, and that was upgraded as well. So, um. So yeah, let me fire it up so you can see what it looks like or sounds like. So, so this is the engine and the service is due, it says, in 4,600 miles or December 2022, whichever comes first. 93,779 on the clock. And um, what else do you need to know? Um, so I'll just quickly run you through some of the systems so you can see that everything is in good order. So you go to vehicle information. Let me switch up the radio. Um, vehicle status. So let's see, are there any warning messages? No fault. So now let's go to see the service required. Engine oil service is okay, like I said, 4,600 miles or December 2022, whichever comes first. Vehicle check, um, that was done um, in August by BMW. So they say that another one should be done by December next year. But if you take it there for a service, they'll probably do it anyway. Um, rear brake pad is 6,000 miles, just the pad, the discs are perfect. Um, vehicle inspection, that's the statutory vehicle inspection. That's your MOT, September, so you have 11 months on there. Uh, or September next year. Brake fluid, that's just been done in August, so the next one is in two years' time. Um, front brake pads, like I showed you, it's just been done, so you got what? 23,000 miles for the front brake pads and even longer for the front discs. Um, the car is in good condition. Obviously, you know, due to it's um, a 12 year old car, there are some things you would, uh, you know, expect like to start wear and tear, like, you know, bits of the leather, you know, but. Guys, right, so everything is in good, clean condition, and for this age and price, I doubt you get anything that will fit the bill. You know, so some cubby spaces over there. You know, um, aircon over there. You know, you got the memory seat function over there as well. You got a 
it's all nice and clean and tidy in it you can tell it's a car that's been very well loved so let me show you the engine bay then the paperwork and we'll wrap it up so hold on a second so that's the front you can see the daytime running lights and the indicators the flashing indicators going up that works fine no issues this is the engine I'll just keep quiet so you can hear the sound of the engine like I said, I've changed the pulleys, the belts, everything that needs doing has been done. This car is good to go, no issues at all, um, as far as I know, no issues. Um, and um, we just had a, an inspection done by BMW, which I will, you know, walk you through. Um, like I said, it's not been cleaned, so I want you, the owner, to see if there's any leaks or whatnot. And uh, there's nothing at all. It's in. Uh, good nick um, so let me just run you through the paperwork okay okay now so let's go through some paperwork um, so like I said I've had this car since it was um, pretty much new and um, I bought it actually yeah, it was 15,000 miles when I got it um, and I bought it for 25,000 pounds from BMW and um, these are some of the extras they said it came with them which it did um, automatic gear fork, the comfort seats, the dark, the wood, high gloss wood, which you've just seen there. Um, media package. So the media package is about, I think, six or eight gig of, of, of storage. And it allows you to put thousands of music and CDs and everything on there it's for your listening pleasure. Metallic paint and park assist. Um, this car parks itself, right, that button. And it literally parks itself and it still works. I, I used it a, a few months ago, but I don't use it as much because after a while you just don't use these things. And um, it's got a list of standard equipment and a lot can be seen on the website, but this is just a view, a, a very short view. For example, it doesn't have the, the, the front and rear sensor, the DVD and a few other things. It's quite a lot they, they didn't list on there. And um, also um this was the last service um i had done that was on the 26th of the 8th so i've just used that to cover my address my name and address because this is going to go in online and then it done 92,000 miles so just over a thousand miles ago and that was in august and what they said was um and they did a, a health check and a report so these are the things they said um as advisories then um, your front brake pads are not fitted in, uh, fitted incorrectly and that was done for me because the cabling wasn't rooted properly after the um, or after they did the um, the front brake pad in this so that was done and everything else from the tires from the the diagnosis reports the wheels the front brake pads in this and they checked it for leaks in the engine the gearbox the differential exhaust system and everything was fine and um, also um they picked up that the the front wiper blades might need changing and that's been changed i did that myself so these are front wiper blades there and um so all lights are working um all the glass is fine engine oil level um steering suspension look at that the whole suspension and the the horns basically they did an mot on it and they couldn't find anything worth calling out and they also did a um, what you got to check the, the pressures as well. In fact, this is wrong because um, I have Pirellis on there, not Continental. But when you buy BMW, they come with Continentals. So I have over here, I'll probably say 40 to 50 pages of maintenance reports and receipts from BMW, um, which you can look through. I mean, even down to things like, you know, what screws, I buy them from BMW. You know, so that's a two pound thing I bought from Stephen James in Woolwich. And um, here is the the BMW. So this was when um, January last year, I bought the the center caps, which I showed you all for, and it was about fifty quid. And the, the list goes on. I'm, I, it, it's a long list, so I won't walk you through it. But I've um, most of my spend has been with the dealer direct directly. So um, so good luck. Give me a call if you have any questions and. Um, you can see the engine is still running quietly with no issues so revving it nicely this car is very smooth you know for a two liter diesel you know it's given us many years of pleasure and i hope it goes to the right home thanks a lot bye